page as to the idea of power and authority are you ready let's define power what exactly is power as far as the business of the kingdom is concerned here are my definitions number one power is the capacity to influence outcomes power is the capacity to influence outcomes whoever sustains the capacity to influence outcomes has power the capacity to influence outcomes number two still defining power the force that compels compliance this is my definition of power the force that compels compliance hallelujah are we together in physics the first law of mechanics as postulated by sir isaac newton says that everybody remains in its uniform motion or state of rest except compelled by an external force to act otherwise am i right on that that means if i keep this and i leave it here theoretically it should remain in this state if it does shift then a force greater than what is keeping it must have been exerted so power is defined as the force that compels compliance capacity to influence outcomes and the force that compels compliance is my definition of power you have that down let's define authority this will be very in authority means the right to represent number one the right to represent the right to represent number two authority is the legitimacy to use power authority is defined as the legitimacy to use power so while power talks of capacity to influence outcomes authority is the legitimacy to use power if you have power and you do not have authority you have a right the government can arrest you for instance what is the difference between an armed robber holding a gun and a military man holding a gun both of them have power but only one has authority are we learning already so authority is the right to use power before the realm of the spirit respects your use of power it must verify that you have authority there are many people who have authority but they do not have power hmm. are we learning already now authority always comes with a predefined jurisdiction please let me have your attention it is impossible to give someone the legitimacy to use power indefinitely every time you grant authority you must define jurisdictions am i correct yes there is nobody who is given power without jurisdiction the strength of authority is that it is it is you you walk the authority within a predefined jurisdiction are we learning already because most believers are only power conscious and they do not know that there is a jurisdiction to the use of the believers power we do not have power everywhere for instance the throne room there is a limit the believer does not have indefinite absolute power the power and the authority that we have has jurisdictions are we learning now let's now define jurisdiction remember we're doing i'm being very elementary we're just doing definitions so we've defined power authority now jurisdiction jurisdiction is the sphere where the use of power is allowed beyond which it becomes illegal jurisdiction please put that down represents the sphere where the use of power is allowed jurisdiction represents the sphere where the use of power is allowed beyond which it becomes illegal so as much as a military man has authority his authority is defined by a code of conduct am i right on that and there are jurisdictions he cannot walk into your house for no cause and no reason and just shoot you down so there has to be jurisdiction 
are we together now let me go straight to the point there are a few things that we need to understand as far as the administration of power is concerned number one man does not have absolute power no man was never given absolute power only god has absolute power listen carefully the power that man has is derived and is limited that is the reason why power can increase and power can reduce god does not increase power he does not reduce power because he has absolute power you need to understand this these are the fundamentals of administering true spiritual power man was not given absolute power only god has absolute power and in fact is the exclusive owner of all power god does not just have absolute power based on scripture he is the exclusive owner let's look at two scriptures first chronicles 29 11 is god helping someone already first chronicles 29 and 11 the bible says yours O lord is the greatness and the power and the glory the victory and the majesty for all that is in heaven and in earth is yours yours is the kingdom O lord and you are exalted above all scripture number two second chronicles chapter 20 from verse 5 and 6 this was a prayer that jehoshaphat was praying then jehoshaphat stood in the assembly of judah and jerusalem in the house of the lord before the new court verse 6 and he said "O lord god of our fathers are you not god in the heavens and do you not rule over all the kingdoms of the earth and in your hand is there not power and might so that there is none that is able to withstand you only god god almighty has absolute power are we learning already if you're with me shout a loud amen. amen all right are you ready for the next surprise god almighty does not have authority god cannot have authority the nature of authority is that someone higher than you must confide upon you listen carefully god does not have authority the law of authority is that you must be under authority to have authority the centurion said for i am a man under authority and then i also have other people under me on the strength of that law i say to one go and he goeth if god has authority there must be someone he must be obedient to and he, there must be someone he must worship there are certain things God cannot do. For instance, he cannot be obedient. It is not in his character. Who will he obey? Are you learning now? Because there are many believers who want the realm of the spirit to respect them. And with this maze of misinformation and confusion, we speak to demons and we hope that they listen. We speak to situations and circumstances. No. The power of God is administered upon the strength of knowledge. God does not have authority. He only gives authority. Are we learning? God Almighty does not have authority. Ladies and gentlemen, he only gives authority. The law of authority, I, I, I told you earlier on, is that there must be someone higher than you who gives you that authority and supervises your compliance. Every time you give authority to someone lower than you, automatically you have the power to supervise their compliance. If they default, you withdraw it. Hallelujah. Isaiah 40, my goodness. Now you will worship him with understanding. The one who only has power with no authority. Isaiah 40, 14. Isaiah 40, 14. With whom did he take counsel and who instructed him? Who taught him in the path of justice? Who taught him knowledge and who showed him the way of understanding? There is no one. This is how great God is. 
that he does not have the ability to obey and he does not have the ability to have authority it cannot be he searched for a man greater than him he was willing to humble himself to such a god if there were any and not finding any he swore by himself that by this two immutable counsel it is impossible for god to lie do you know what that means if god says i will bless you there is no other force that threatens that word listen let me teach you something about authority in the court we have customary court we have high court am i right on that and they all have jurisdictions have you seen that there are certain courts that cannot pass certain uh what do we call it now talk to me lawyers they can't pass certain judgments because they say it is beyond their jurisdiction they have authority but it must be supervised the highest of them in any nation is called the supreme court am i right on that and when the supreme court makes a statement whether you agree or not as far as that jurisdiction is concerned it is over hmm. so i can say i want to bless you but if someone higher than me perhaps the one who gave me the legitimacy to use that power refuses i become helpless even though i am sincere so when God speaks, what makes his word powerful is not just that he is God, it's because he's the only one. Are we learning now? Can we pray in the spirit for one minute? We are redefining things. For someone, God is already giving you understanding. Hallelujah. Are we together now? So let's recap on everything we've said. We define power. We define authority. We define jurisdiction. And now we're establishing a few things that will guide our understanding. That man does not have absolute power. Only God has absolute power and is the exclusive owner. He was not given. He is the owner. I have spoken once and twice have you heard that power. That includes the power that is used by witchcraft and all of that. <laughs> you just listen. God operates the power of god operates at three levels i don't have the time the highest dimension of his power is derived through intimacy are we together you will have to encounter god directly by his spirit to have that dimension of power the second level of god's power is hidden in principles you don't need a relationship to activate that dimension you only need knowledge so you can reject god as a person and refuse intimacy with him but understand the principles are we together now it was designed to be activated the moment the laws are adhered to regardless of relationships that is the dimension where demonic forces and they only manipulate the laws of the spirit there is already a default manifestation of power it is an abuse of power the third dimension of power happens through covenant alignment you don't have to be powerful you just need to believe and connect to the one who has power are we together are we learning now so if you ever see whether it is the power used in occultism whether it's the power used in any provided you see anything that can tame creation it is power it belongs to god even though it was abused if someone steals your money and drinks with it you are not a drunkard it's your money but it was abused but it does not stop the fact that it was your money that was stolen am i right on that yes so just because it is god's power being abused does not mean it is not his power it is his power it is only that it's been abused because one day he will withdraw it if it was not his power he would not have the right to withdraw it is it not in your bible that satan hell the grave all will be cast into the lake of fire who then withdraws their power even the spirit said have you come to destroy us before our time they are aware that there's one the owner the earth is the lord's the fullness that means everything that finds itself in the earth belongs to him the walls and then they it didn't say the men that dwell there 
whoever is in the earth is still God's property. And one day he will show his absolute owner. Are we learning? I assume that your quietness means you are learning. <laughs> it's amazing how believers want to walk in power but remain in ignorance. Just learning already that God does not have authority gives it builds your faith. Nobody confers it upon him. So when God speaks, that's like the Supreme Court saying done. Every other court has to bow. That is the power in his word. If there were many gods and he was just the greatest, there would be trouble. If there were many gods equal to him and he's just the wisest out of them, there would be trouble. But there is none in his class. Are we together? Every once in a while we had kings upon the earth who made themselves gods. We had all kinds of demons who deceived people that they were God. And usually it is God's system that all through history... A time will come where he will shout from heaven and remind people for instance Nebuchadnezzar when he turns him to become an animal still with the brain of a man it is to make a statement that there is a God that rules over the affairs of men I'm saying that because everything God has said to you that you are wondering will it come to pass that means you are saying there is a power higher than him that may stop it no the moment you believe that God's word does not come to pass, I personally consider it sin against God. You are saying he lied that he does not possess authority. Let God be true and all men liars. Now, to walk in dominion, you must have both power and authority. Now you understand what I'm saying? That to walk in dominion, the force to create that compliance whether economic power in this case spiritual power you must do you know that the money in your pocket is nigeria's property hello you've forgotten let me remind you that the money in your pocket and the one in your bank provided you are holding paper it is written there it does not belong to you you are using it but it is nigeria's property amazing how this thing works the land that you are building on you bought it but in truth based on an agreement you are not even aware of because you were too happy to read and you just signed it it says after 99 years they hope that you'll be dead by then the devil is a liar you will live long say amen, amen. shout a louder amen, amen. Yeah. <laughs> so to walk in dominion you must need power and authority. Luke 10, 19. You will understand that statement now. Luke chapter 10 and verse 19. My spiritual life changed when I understood the things that I'm sharing with you. And believe me, when it comes to this subject of power, I know something a bit about it. May not know everything, but there are a few things we know. Hallelujah. The Bible says, behold, I give you. Now, even New King James does not get it right. The only version that really gets what Jesus said is amplified. Give us amplified. King James says power. New King James says authority. I respect them but both of them are wrong. This is what Jesus said. Behold, I have given you authority and power to trample upon serpents and scorpions. Do you notice that the moment he mentioned authority, jurisdiction came. He defined what you are to have authority over. This is a law that was respected right from Genesis 1 28. The moment God gives men authority, let them have dominion. He did not stop there. Over. And he defined everything you should have dominion over. Behold, I give you authority and I give you power. Are we together? And he says on account of that nothing, when you understand that you have authority and you have power, nothing shall by any means hurt you. This is profound. So we know from scripture that man has been given power and with power he's been given authority. Do you know why authority is important? Because there is a God, God in heaven higher than you who supervises your administration of that power and supervises the obedience of creation 
while you administer that power 